first of the month. Figured I'd finally update you guys with episode five of this contest prep diaries. And we're gonna start with some new macros. I don't know if some of you call this poverty macros. I call it pretty much poverty macros. And if anybody's not familiar with poverty macros, basically means you're on some low ass macros. So you're on a low food intake. Um, so my previous macros before this change, I was at 275 protein, 195 carbs, 52 fat. Uh, refeeds were at 235 protein, 430 carbs, I believe, and 57 fat. Um, new changes starting today, so today is day one, uh, 270 protein now, so that got dipped five grams, 180 carbs, yes, say it with me guys, 180 carbs, with 10 and a half weeks to go, yeah, fat's still the same at 52, refeed carbs got dropped down too, <laughs> Protein got dropped down a little bit. 230 protein on refeeds, 415 carbs now. Man, I'm like, now I gotta take out some good stuff. And 57 fat. Still no cardio, so that always makes me happy uh, seeing that. But these are the new changes. Um, I am doing 10 grams of carbs, you know, pre-workout, 10 grams of carbs post-workout from Dextrose. So really I'm only getting to eat, physically eat, 160 carbs, guys. So please, bear with me here. 160 carbs eating. That's that's like, some of you guys probably eat that in one meal, you know? Um, and then, so here's the game plan for the rest of this week. Uh, Cliff, my coach, I'm finishing off the last, uh, this last week, going all the way up until probably Thursday of this week. We're already at Wednesday. So I'm gonna work out today. Usually I take tomorrow off. I'm probably gonna work out one more day, but then Cliff wants me to take off. Cliff wants me to take off three days. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I would rest because we're finishing off this cycle of this uh, blood volume overload training program. And then he has me starting on a completely new program. He already sent me, I haven't looked at it yet, so I'll kind of go over everything of the new program, the changes, kind of what it is um, when I start it. Uh, I'll start it uh, this coming Monday. But other than that, this video is just gonna have some, uh, some training footage from uh, earlier this week, but mostly I think last week I did with my buddy Jake, I did a short version of uh, the blood volume, some, there's gonna be some chest training clips in there. I think I'm just gonna combine it today with uh, with kind of like a, a full back, I uh, believe it's uh, overload day. So just get you guys some training footage in there. Um, you know, again, these, these videos are kind of like, <clears throat> it's contest prep, man. It's just kind of all over the place, just little things. I don't really have a structured, you know, video format for these. I'm just trying to like throw out as much, um, you know, stuff as I can for you guys to just keep you in the loop here. Um, again, if there's, if there's any requests that you guys really want me to do video topics on, I can do that, but for the most part, I'm just doing my best to kind of document this contest prep and throw it out on this channel for you guys to kind of hopefully learn some things from, you know, get some insight from, you know, somebody that's that's kind of done, you know, did, has done well in this natural bodybuilding game, so if I can, you know, teach and inspire and educate some of you other upcoming natural bodybuilders, then and that's what I love to do. But um, just trying to be a good example for people and, you know, other than that, guys, I think that's it. I'll leave this at that.
just got my order from uh, Tiger Fitness. I uh, had to restock on some things and I'm trying some, uh, some new flavors of some products that I was currently taking. So I will show you what I got here. All right, so trying the, uh, really, really was interested in this flavor, chocolate peppermint bark in the uh, Core Nutritionals uh, Whey Isolate, because I use this, um, this protein for like immediately after my workout, so chocolate peppermint sounded damn good. I'm literally just finishing up um, chocolate, uh, what do I call it? Decadence or whatever, literally have like half a scoop left of that. So perfect timing. Um, really enjoyed the chocolate flavor, but just kind of spicing it up with this chocolate peppermint. Sounds really refreshing. Um, I need to get more uh, dextrose, literally almost like out of my current bag. So doing right now, I'm doing 15 grams of dextrose, so 15 carbs pre-workout and then 10 grams post-workout of dextrose. So definitely got to have that on hand. And then um, I keep going through, it sucks. I keep going through uh, different flavors of ABC just because of core ABC. This is the branch chain amino acids. This is white passion peach. Um, I freaking love the first two flavors. I did blue raspberry and the last one was wicked, wa uh, wicked watermelon. Flavors have been so damn good. I just want to keep trying more flavors because they've impressed me so much. And then I think, oh yeah, I did get one more bag of um, dextrose just because I was going through stuff pretty fast and I hate like, like last night I was kind of freaking out. I wasn't gonna have enough dextrose. So, and then I needed more uh, fish oil. This is what I've been taking just to keep it consistent. I don't know, it's one of the highest rated ones on Tiger Fitness. So fig hopefully it's good, two capsules uh, every morning. And then, oh, this is something they just must have thrown in for free. Amino stem. I don't know what this is, guys. But uh, this was thrown in my package for free. So that is all that I got. Just showing you guys. I'm excited to try this. So I'll give you guys a review on this, uh, on this uh, chocolate uh, peppermint guys, bark. It is Thursday night. What, I think January 26th tonight already. And uh, it's my rest night. So the one thing I love about my rest nights is I get like, not a refi, but I get 25 extra carbs that I don't have to use on dextrose. I actually get to eat. So I freaking love Thursdays because it's like a rest day, time to let my body recover, have a little extra carbs, just relax. And uh, yeah, so, and I had my, uh, Today was my first night. I literally just probably can't tell now because I'm still pasty as hell. But I finally started tanning. So I shouldn't hopefully be in my next um, posing video that I'll probably do maybe like in a week or two update. Uh, hopefully I won't be S white. So uh, that's one thing though, if you guys are bodybuilders and stuff like that, um, having a base, having a base tan is just gonna accentuate your stage tan. So if you like, if you go in, if you try to go like pasty ass white and then get a, and then get a competition spray tan, sometimes you just still don't look dark enough. So as opposed to, I always notice guys that have like a really nice base tan and then you get your spray tan, it'll just maximize your, your show tan and you'll look that much better. So that's why I know, I know tanning's not healthy, but I haven't tanned since my last contest prep. So it's been like three years since I freaking tanned. So I don't want to hear any like, tanning crap in the comment section if anybody's gonna say anything. I know the health risks. Like I said, I'm only gonna be tanning for the next three weeks, or sorry, three months, and then that'll be it. Um, I bought like a nice, one thing too, I think I showed you guys, I bought, picked up some really some really good lotion that I used uh, my last contest prep. It has a very nice masculine kind of scent to it. Do not buy tanning lotion at the salons. The same, that same bottle that I bought off Amazon for like 20 bucks, they try to sell you in a salon for like 50 to 60. So get on Amazon, find your tanning, your freaking tanning lotion on there and go save a ton of money. Um, God, I almost forgot too though, like going through these winter months of just not much sunlight and stuff like that, how good it felt just to get some 
some sunlight on you. Oh my gosh, the rays and stuff like that. I feel like it like it just uplifts your mood and you just kind of feel better. So also too, I just got a haircut shorter, a little shorter on the sides. I don't know what it is too. I feel like haircuts always just make me feel better. Like you just kind of feel cleaned up, you know, getting that neck hair cleaned up and everything. And oh, it just, I don't know. I always feel like kind of refreshed after a haircut, it just feels good. So anyways, guys, I'm about to make, I'm about to make my chick, my healthy chicken parm meal. And then I'm super excited now for, I think I showed you guys, I'm just loving this, um, this new meal, the spaghetti squash and the extra lean ground beef. Oh, so anyways, guys, that's a little check-in. Guys, it is Saturday night. Uh, what is it, January 28th now? Um, so, got a little surprise for you. Had a new low today. This is like a tradition. It seems like every on my on, on Saturdays when it's like the new weeks out from the show, I'm hitting new lows, which is cool. Um, One eighty eight point two. Funny thing was, is I got on the scale and it was one eighty nine point two, which tied um, last week's uh, new low. And all of a sudden, I was like, God damn it! And I think I walked around the house. I did something. I was like, you know what? I gotta go pee again. And so I went pee and um, I was like, okay, you, if any of you guys know this, it's in prep. Going to the bathroom, even if it's just a small, like little, little amount can change the way in like a little bit. So I sat back on the scale after going to the bathroom and then boom, 188.8, or, uh, so 0.4 pounds or whatever it is. Uh, lower. So I was like, heck yeah, new low. I don't know. There's something about hitting a new low, especially when it's on, like again, 11 weeks out, hit a new low. It just really helps you like mentally. You're like, okay, things are progressing where they need to be. Um, other than that, man, I'm not gonna lie. Last night was a uh, blood volume leg day. So thank God it wasn't a heavy leg day, but oh my gosh, I was just like, dragging ass this is so bad i feel like i was just like physically having to move my body around and i just even though i took my pre-workout and everything it just nothing was kicking in i was kind of feeling i was kind of feeling dizzy like after sets you know what i mean it was just one of those where i started the workout and it was one of those okay i just can't wait to get through this one and i just can't wait to go plant my ass on the couch Really, it was that bad. So I'm hoping tonight I feel better. I don't know though, this might just be, sometimes this is the last day for my refeed tomorrow after being on six consecutive low days. People don't realize too guys, the way my coach has me set up um, my macros, I have to utilize on training days, 25 carbs of my of my 195 on dextrose. I do 15 grams pre and 10 grams post, so that's 25 carbs of my 195 that I have to just use towards powdered dextrose. Cliff. But, so basically my carbs are like 170 on training days, which is pretty damn low for 11 weeks out. So I think that's a lot of why I freaking, you know, I have days where I'm just like dragging butt. So tonight is overload, so heavy chest and then um, blood volume arms. So I'm hoping that tonight I feel better. I got my pre-workout ready to freaking chug this and get 400 milligrams of, this is Core Fury Green Apple Extreme with some pump, core pump in it. Um, I actually might switch up my pre-workout too to, on Tiger Fitness they have some, I think it's America Labs. Like they have a pre and a pump product that, uh, I might switch to just to kind of switch it up. There's an ingredient in the pre-workout. Anything that has like a number dash, it's like six dash methyl any something, those always scares me. So if you're like a natural competitor, make sure you always check the ingredient profiles of like any product you're gonna take and then double check the band list for that organization that you wanna compete in because sometimes you're, you know, you don't know, you don't check, and then all of a sudden, boom, you get a urinary analysis done and you get pot because you were taking something that you didn't know was on the band list. So um, other than that, guys, uh, it's just been another awesome month as far as um, 
I've already, I think I've added, I can't, I can't remember how many more clients since, I don't know. This is like our total record freaking high of like new client signups, which is awesome. I literally just signed up the fitness director at my gym tonight who like trains people and does other things, but he just wants to, he's just seeing like the success of that I've had with like my own physique and with my clients and he just wants to kind of see if he can learn anything else from me. So I'm going to start actually prepping him tomorrow, which is really fun. Um, but other than that though, it's just, oh, just loving this. I'm actually even like thinking about possibly maybe going to the Arnold Classic. I don't know. It'd be so fun to go down to an expo shredded and just get to like meet. There's just so many other, other like people that I've followed on social media that I would just love to meet and uh, just be fun to go down there and work out with them and train with them and like get to be shredded you know like it's just it would be fun so it's kind of popping up in my head we'll see if uh if I go through with that sometimes I'm like one of those I'm just so anal about uh stepping outside of my comfort of you know it's making my own meals and like because then it's like when you're traveling it's things aren't as convenient and you got to kind of so yeah, we'll see you guys. Happy right, Sunday guys. Reefy day is officially here, thank God. Cause I needed it bad. So I woke up to, this is so funny, this is now two weeks in a row where I did back to back new lows of like the exact same weight. Last, last Friday, or uh, Saturday and Sunday, it was 188.8, and then this uh, Saturday and Sunday, it was, or sorry, last Saturday and Sunday, it was 189.2, and this Saturday and Sunday, it was 188.8 on both days. Um, so just kind of funny how that randomly kind of happened. But, I uh, had my first refeed meal, but you guys are on my Instagram. Um, stories, watching my stories. I'm starting to do more, get involved more on the Instagram stories thing. Um, I've still never done Instagram Live. I don't know if I should be doing Instagram Live, getting on there, interacting with people, answering questions. I wouldn't mind doing it. I mean, I like helping people, uh, but I've never done it. So I need to kind of, I'm just getting better. At, at first, you know, I, I'm very slow with technology. And, um, you know, I started getting on Snapchat, trying to be active on Snapchat a little bit. And then now I'm like realizing, oh, you know, why won't I, you know, Instagram stories, getting on there, starting to show more meals and workouts and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, guys, just kind of an update. Um, like I said, today is my refeed day. It's a 235 protein on this day. I get 400 and ugh, only, I'm like only, but to me it just seems like nothing. 425 carbs, and the great thing though is I five five grams more of fat, so I get 57 grams of fat goes up from usually it's 52, and this is where it's like I'm like sitting here going through so many different scenarios in my head of like what meals and foods that I want to fit in my refeed. Like I said, last Sunday was like the first refeed where I finally was like, oh my God, I'm gonna give up like not having a Lenny and Larry snickerdoodle cookie and um, just to have some more like higher volume satiating, like I literally had more potato and I tell you one of the best things that I had uh, so you guys might be like, oh, it's not that great. But to me, I hadn't had steak. I don't think all prep. And I'm, steak is like one of my favorite, favorite foods. And so just like a nice top sirloin with a baked potato and I had some broccoli with it. But it's amazing how just not having steak, which is the food that I love, felt like it was like freaking tasted like the best steak ever even though like you know when it's off season i'll go and have a nice filet or something like that this this cheap cheaper top sirloin tastes like one of the best fillets i've ever had in my life just because i hadn't had it in like five months not because i couldn't have it it's just usually i'm like eh, it's like yeah, i don't want to justify the higher fat and stuff like that but um you know i cut off all of the fat off it and kind of used a little bit of a lower fat macro for the cooked steak because again, it's my refeed day, having a little bit more 
um, room for some fat. And I was like, you know what? I freaking just want this steak. So fitting in the steak and then trying to fit in my, my 96 four ground beef cheeseburgers. Yeah, I might have to pick and choose again, which is hard. I just want like on this day, I wish I could just have everything that I want. Like give me a thousand carbs and let me just have like a whole entire deluxe platter of everything that I want. I miss like having freaking big bowls of like cereal and I really want some like Kodiak cake pancakes and more candy, some pizza. See what happens when you're 20 weeks in a prep, guys. I'm starting to go freaking crazy. But um, I'll see if I get some refeed meals today. You know what's funny is sometimes like this morning when I was making my amazing, amazing breakfast, I, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna film this for YouTube. I did film it for Instagram, but I'm like, I don't know about any of you guys, I get so picky on if my food starts to get cold and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I was too scared my food was gonna get cold. And so I didn't film it for you guys, sorry. So you're gonna have to get on my Instagram, conwolf81. Get on there, check it out. It was a freaking, it was so beautiful. The, the presentation of my meal, I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe I should be a chef. Anyways, guys, I'm heading to the car wash right now. My car is like brown and nasty and dirty. So, and it's look like it's so packed, I don't know if I'm able to get in here. But um, yeah, that's it guys. I'll see you in the next update.